Hello everyone, Kyrieth here, and I'm here to check out the ACC PS5 update and see where it is at the moment and compare it to the big daddy, which is Gran Turismo 7. So let's do a race and let's see what's what. So here we are. We're at Monza. A 29 car race or a 30 car race. 90% difficulty, 90% aggressiveness. Let's do it. So we're leading everyone around Parabolica to start the race. Uh, there's a pit, there's a limiter of 80 kph it seems. I've done a, quite a bit of my ACC on PC, including endurance racing. But this is my first time on PS5, so I'm quite excited to see what it's going to be like. Obviously the fidelity is a bit lower. The... Uh, I don't need to say that, do I? Right. So I don't know how to look left and right. We'll have to work out those buttons. Oh, I was trying to slot in there, but there's Lambo already there. The sound is so much better. So much better than Gran Turismo 7. You're on the left. Oh, does that count as making the corner? <laughs> Just about exit. The um, force feedback at the moment is much lighter than Gran Turismo 7, but it is a bit more realistic. So I need to work that out. I never really... Um, kind of fully came to grips with the difficult, uh, sorry, the force feedback in uh, PC ACC. I'm all scrambled, my thoughts are all scrambled. I think it must be the noise and the intensity, and the car feels a lot looser as we go on two wheels over that curb. We must have broken something there. Someone's up the inside, and an Audi's going to go as well. It's definitely a bit more of a involving experience. I can't just chat away like I do in Gran Turismo. This one is like arresting me. It feels like I'm actually near the engine of a very powerful G3 car. And oh, that car behind looked like he was having to go. The Audi is going to get a much better exit. We're absolutely dropping positions. Aston behind us as well. And the Mercedes. Whoa, the car sound nice. Right, coming to Ascari. There is that Aston. Do we try and go up the inside of the Audi? Nah. Oh, yeah, here we are. Kind of. Side by side. Oh, we just about made it through. He must still be there, kind of. This is a... It's a whole different experience, really. Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo Sport was a very precise game about thousands of a second. It was a very static game, a very precise game. Gran Turismo 7 is a bit looser. It's a bit more dynamic. But ACC is just, like, on another level, really. It's a visceral experience. The challenge of driving the car is a meaningful one. It's not just about hot lapping and trying to look at the clock I haven't even looked at the clock yet because I feel like there's more going on and the sound really does contribute to that where are we going to break for T1 I don't know I feel like we might get our break in here I'm going to go for 150 that one I've outbreaked myself <laughs> whoa let's just go to a different camera view track limits is giving me a track limits warming already we have no track competence. We are completely incompetent this track. Lovely. Let's go a bit um, cockpit view. There's a slide. You get a sliding at the end. Whoa, we've gone off. There's a sliding at the end of the... I'm, I'm basically on the verge of being out of control all the time. It feels like there's different phases to the corner and how much... Grip like there, it's just kind of like... I lost all grip, I'm going to cover this up. Car on the right. Oh, whoa, on it's the right. right on my trumpet there. This is Car another ball right. game, really. This is right. another ball game. Car on the right. I'm going to try and operate this AMG. On the right. Car on the right. I need to have a look back at the replay and see how I'm dealing with the inputs. The car's very light here. I think that's the thing, is the car gets lighter when you have weight transfer, when you're kind of really moving it around. It's not like Gran Turismo 7, where you always feel pretty planted. Here, sometimes you're skating around on the tarmac. So right now, the car's very light getting oversteer. You'd never get oversteer like that, a Parabolica in Gran Turismo 7, like never. Parabolic in Gran Turismo 7 is a very understeering corner. It's gone very dark now. I cannot see anything. 
Can you see anything? I need to go to the view. Oh my word, it's so dark, I can't see. This is a new experience. Break a bit earlier because we've been out breaking ourselves here. Absolutely clattered that curb. If there were points for clattering curbs, I'd be winning them, but there aren't, unfortunately. To, to, be, to gain one point of track competence, I have to stay in control of my car, and I'm not doing that at the moment. Right. This may be the last lap, because it's a quick five minute race. I cannot see anything. I cannot see. I can't see. I, can't, I cannot see a thing. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's no going over curbs in ACC. Car on the right. It's not like Gran Turismo, you're like, oh yeah, we can just ride that sausage curb. Not here. Paying a bit more respect. Uh, get understeer out, okay. Okay, I can see a little bit better now. Clear on the right. Around the outside of the Mercedes. Space for two, space for two. Yes, 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 yes. Well, this is a lot better experience than racing the um, AI in Gran Turismo 7. Online, I need to kind of go back online but yeah I'm getting my ass kicked here pay these sausage curves a bit more respect maybe it's a completely different handling model it's like learning Spanish and then trying to speak French it's it, yes it's a it's a sim but the whole way in which the car translates its grip onto the tarmac just feels completely different. I mean, Parabolica is like a different kind of corner. It's no longer just turning and apply the throttle because you have oversteer to contend with and just a general lack of grip. Oh, man. I think we've become even less track competent from a baseline of zero. So there we go, that's the race. Those are my initial thoughts. If you're someone that's been playing ACC on PS5, let us know in the comments. This is predominantly a Gran Turismo community. Um, maybe we're missing out. Maybe we should do more of this. So if you want to see more of it, again, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, I think I've got to... <laughs> crunch, 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 crunch. Otherwise, I think I've got to bring this car back to the garage. And I'll see you next time.